All right, so one of the unsexy but core elements of the operating machine is obviously going to be customer service. I think one of the great things about an Amazon FBA business is that you're frankly insulated from a lot of the back and forth customer service interactions that take place because Amazon manages a lot of those for you. That said, we still do get emails, messages within the Amazon platform, and questions on our listings that we need to respond to, and we need to respond to in a quick fashion. For our business, other than the weekends, we basically have a 24-hour service level, so we want to make sure that we're getting back to customers within 24 hours or less. Within the Amazon platform, if a customer's got an inquiry, we actually need to service them within 24 hours. And then same thing for questions, because somebody might be wanting to buy the product, we want to answer those questions on the listing within 24 hours. So honestly, we've toggled through a bunch of like CRMs and software and all these things to be able to manage inbound inquiries. And I keep on going back to Gmail because it's simply because it's simple, it's effective, and it's one less thing we need to worry about. So we have a person on the team that's dedicated to monitoring the email accounts of every brand that we've got, in addition to my personal brand stuff, and their role is to basically check at the start and end of every shift on those emails. If it's a customer service of our Gmail account, um, this one's actually a, a customer service one here. Basically, if it needs to be categorized as customer service, we'll literally just take it and we'll drag it over here to this customer service folder. Once we've actually answered that particular customer's issue or question, we'll basically drag it back into this completed section and it's off of our ticketing radar. If that customer happens to reply to us again after we've kind of booked it as complete, it will then show up again in our inbox and we can go ahead and again drag it to these various folders. So it's simple. We drag it to a folder for customer service if we get to answer it. Once it's been answered, we drag it to the completed section. And so the goal is basically to have all of them moved over to complete it. So that's kind of one thing that happens every day. Since I'm no longer in these inboxes checking emails every single day, the other thing is, is the person that's responsible for this particular inbox, if they see something that might require my attention, maybe it's a, a message from Amazon, maybe it's a business inquiry or some other thing that she's like, hey, I, I think that Adam needs to take a peek at this. The other thing that we have in here is that we've got a forwarding process. So if they find an email that needs my attention, they'll get forwarded to my inbox. And then one of my roles each day is to check and see if there's any brand alert emails that I need to pay attention to, give feedback on maybe that uh, we can't answer the customer's question, I need to dig into it. Maybe it's some other thing from Amazon or whatever that needs my attention. So if you wanna set up these kind of recurring tasks to check an email kind of twice per day, uh, like we do, uh, basically we have it underneath the operations customer service section, and then all you need to do here is come in and do create task, and then it would be like check brand A email two times per day, and then uh, save that. You could click on it, in our case, uh, Nina manages a lot of our operations, so we could tag her, and then we could create a due date and make it a recurring. You could create a new task each day, or you could just kind of have this be a recurring forever, uh, and then hit uh, you know, weekly, daily, in our case it would be daily. We could skip the weekends, because we don't typically do that on the weekends, and then we could hit save. And then that's that. Um, so it's a recurring task, you could set that up, and then that would be part of the daily checklist of things that would be needed. The second thing that we do, which again goes to email as well, but another fail safe is, is we go into the actual account and see if that we've had any Amazon inquiries from customers within the last 24 hours. Obviously we need to respond to those within 24 hours so that we don't have our account impacted. So similar to that, we check the account at least twice daily. Again, you could kind of make another task here for check Amazon account for customer messages and FAQs. And again, FAQs come through this email. We can actually see one right here. It's the Amazon answers. So it basically says, hey, a customer's asked something on your listing. Do you want to respond? That will also show up in this email as well. So pretty simple and straightforward stuff. If you're new to the game, I recommend that you actually manage customer service yourself for at least the first little bit. I know it's one of the first things that people tend to pass along to somebody on their staff, but it really is good to stay in touch with what customers are saying, uh, what the inquiries are. We have some summary reports within our business, so I at least still see what customers are, are reaching out with, so I have a bit of a pulse on that, but I'm just kind of out of the day-to-day, -day, and I think that you can move yourself out of the day-to-day -day after you yourself have kind of gotten that comfort level uh, with responding to customer questions. One caveat to all this is that if you're running FBM and not FBA, 
you have a substantial amount more customer service. So let's say that you can't get enough inventory checked in and you're having to run FBM offers, or maybe you've got an oversized product that Amazon can't keep and you do all FBM, you're gonna see a lot more volume because in those cases, not only do you have just customer service inquiries, maybe about the product, questions about the product, etc. you also have questions about shipping, you gotta do return labels. Uh, so there's a lot more volume if you're doing FBM orders. And for most businesses doing less than 10 million a year, it's really not gonna be a major part of your function or job.